Hello, my name is Colin Greatwood, Mechatronics Technology Engineer with Festo, and today we'll be talking about integrating the CMMT AS servo drive into the ACS MMI Application Studio software. By clicking on the controller, go to Add Component, Setup, and System Setup. You first have to adjust the C time of the system, the clock time. Type in CTIME equals 1 in the communication terminal and enter to send. Then click Save to Flash and Save. After a few seconds, that time will be saved. Then go back to My Controller, Add Component, Application Development, and click on the Application Wizard. This will allow you to import a file to the controller, the non-acs.hashhashhash hash hash file. Browse for this on your local PC, press Open and Next. This copies the file into the controller and can take several minutes, then press Finish. Lastly, go to Import ESI and add an ESI XML file. This will be the EtherCAT CIA402 EtherCAT file for the CMMTs. Import the file. This will also take several minutes. Then press OK. Next, go to the Automatic Setup and click Execute. The controller will be rebooted and this can take some time, but once the controller is rebooted, you'll see completed, press OK. Now go back to my controller, click Add Component, Diagnostics and Monitoring, and go to the Motion Manager. Click the back and forth move. The drives that were detected on setup here from that non-ACS file will be available. Enable feedback, then set up point A and point B wherever you want. Here we've got a thousand millimeters and zero millimeters. Next, enable the load power to the motor. And if you pull down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see some triggers. You can start the motion moving from zero to a thousand millimeters by clicking start motion. You'll see the units starting to inc increment up under feedback. Once we reach a thousand millimeters, we'll move immediately back to point B. Then click disable motor. Thank you for your time.